Welcome to the webcast from the team at Motoring Middle East in association with Talk About Media. Here's our roundup of the latest from the world of motoring. We start with the new Grand Cherokee, which we've just taken off road. I drive the new Audi S8. And there is a brand new Toyota Corolla on the way, finally. But first up, the new Grand Cherokee, which is actually a bit of a pointless car because the old one was really good. They had to do something to update it, so they've started with the front, which is all new, it's a bit frowny. And it's got LEDs, as the more eagle eyed among you will spot. And do we like these LEDs? Well, Chrysler have a pretty good track record when it comes to LEDs. I mean, witness the back lights of the Dodge Charger, I think. Which has LEDs on the state lights as well. So but it's pretty good. But hey, you know what? Tell me uh, about the interior, because I hear the there's a lot of changes going into it. a lot today. better. They've got new steering wheels, they've got new open pour wood on the top end models. Open pour wood? Do you get like a cream for that or something? I think you put the cream separately. But as a whole, it's a lot better. They've got a T-handle shifter that could be from a Dodge Challenger or the Audi S8. I'll talk about that. And the main thing is that handle is connected to an 8-speed automatic. 8 speeds in a Jeep? Well, everybody's going 8 speeds these days. I mean, Jeeps, wow. one is made by ZF, which is very good. If you want to ask somebody to make a transmission, ZF is the people who do so. It's a great box. It's smooth. It's smart. And off-road, it's got paddle shifters. It's absolutely brilliant. Marvellous. I have had a look at the pictures and I've already reviewed and it does look really good. I mean, I've seen the car and I go, I want one of those. I'll tell you something else that I really want is the new Audi S8. I can't have it though, because guess how much it is? It's more than your salary. <laughs> Way more. <laughs> Several of salaries put together, I think. $128,000 this car, but it is the flagship Audi big saloon and it has 520 brake horsepower of twin turbo V8 goodness. That gets this beam up from zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 4.2 seconds. That's actually shorter than it took for you to say all of that. It actually is, yeah. This thing is stonkingly quick. I think they've actually primed this car for all the next Transporter movie. Jason Statham will love this thing. But you look nothing like Jason Statham. <laughs> Not even in the suit. Well, I think I can corner better than him in this car because it's got a very clever sports stiff, which makes the car feel very oversteery, which is really weird for a big Did Audi. Could you put it into a lake to see if it'll start up again afterwards? Yeah, I might try that with the next test if Audi will let me. Well, there's something far more important. There's actually something that we should stop the presses, call the police, put the alarm. There's a new Toyota Corolla. What's this? Wake up, wake up, wake up. This one is important. Corolla. I mean, it's been about 5 billion years since the last one. To give you an idea of how long it's been, Justin Bieber was in high school when the last Corolla came out. Okay. And nobody can remember what the old one looked like. That was the real problem. Mm. So the new one is dramatically redesigned with really, really sharp, slinky headlamps. And you that's... want that from a Corolla? You just want a plain box, don't you? Yeah, but you're not going to get a plain box. You're going to get a really sharp, good-looking car with a really nice interior that has pinched a lot from the Lexus book. Have they pinched a gearbox from Nissan? I heard something about a CVT. Yeah, you'd you think they'd have gone with like an 8-speed automatic perhaps, <laughs> but no, we get a CVT gearbox. Although, hopefully we won't get it in the Middle East. We might get these old 4-speed auto and a 6-speed manual, which we definitely will not get. Anyway, you can read more about the Toyota Corolla and what we can't have on the Toyota Corolla on our website, motoringme.com, as well as the rest of the stories that we've talked about today. Uh, to find out more about what goes on in the world of motoring, you can check out our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash motoring Middle East. Go there now to let us have your feedback on this video and anything else we do at Motoring Middle East. <laughs>